Other news tonight, it's been one year since the Starbucks on Elmwood and Genesee became the first in the country to unionize, sparking a national movement. Our Tara Lynch spoke with union leaders who say their work is not done. Tara? Well, Jackie and Dave, members of the Starbucks Workers United say they are determined to work out a fair union contract for workers across the country. They hope Buffalo's labor roots can continue to fuel this national movement. A year ago, with virtually nothing, it's now grown to 7,000 uh, employees in the Starbucks Corporation, uh, 260 stores in 36 different states. Starbucks Workers United is celebrating its first anniversary as an organized labor group, but they say there's still more work to do. The union still doesn't have a labor agreement and says the company is in hot water for its lackluster negotiations. I don't think a year ago that I thought that we would be standing here still trying to get that first contract. Um, I'm, I'm waiting for Starbucks to get it together and to figure out that this is this is the next step. It's the right step. Workers are hoping for pro-union policies, better health care, and improved safety standards. Congressman Brian Higgins is calling on Starbucks to reach a deal. Respond to what it is they're saying, and if you really hold yourself out to be a socially conscious uh, corporation, then demonstrate it by allowing them to to, to, to organize and to to uh, bargain collectively. Jazz Brizak was a barista at the Elmwood Avenue location until she says she was forced out. She since filed charges with the National Labor Relations Board, but she still wants to go back to work. I still believe that we can make Starbucks the company that it says it is. I don't think that we should define it by its worst moments, but by what it'll be once it recognizes the union and actually works with partners. Union workers still have hope that the company can brew up a new blend for them, a fair deal. They've always set the standard in the service industry. They've always been known as a company that was better. So let's see some of that. Starbucks United has filed dozens of complaints with the National Labor Relations Board. Many are still pending, but the board has confirmed allegations of employee intimidation. Now, we've reached out to Starbucks for comment, but we haven't heard back. For now in studio, Tara Lynch, News 4.